kind of knew I wanted to always model, even when I was a kid. Um, I, I played dress up, I always put on makeup, I would make up fake photo shoots. I was just a ham for the camera, so I just knew that was something that I kind of wanted to do. And I remember my mom would take me to New York City, and I just remember the casting director saying, there's no chance that you'll ever have a career in this industry. I mean, you're technically handicapped. That was really hard for, you know, a 13 year old to kind of take in. And so I kind of gave up after that. It wasn't until, you know, I was 22 or 23 that I decided that maybe I should give it another shot. And having the prosthetic hand has made a world of difference. You know, people notice me now, people recognize me, and it's just skyrocketed now. So I was born without a right forearm. There really wasn't an answer for my parents when I was born. I don't know the cause or anything like that. I never really picked up on using a prosthetic just because I was so used to doing everything a certain way, tying my shoes and getting dressed. When I was 22, I started just thinking about the future and I figured it would be a smart decision to look into getting a prosthesis. Medium close. I just wanted to, I guess, you know, learn an alternate way of doing things yeah. because say if I broke my left hand or if, you know, it was just tired and I couldn't use it anymore, I just want to be able to learn how to use a prosthetic hand. On the inside of the prosthesis, the two electrodes that sit against your, you know, the surface of your skin, those mm -hmm. have wires that connect down to the part of the wrist unit. And it allows the signals to pass through into the microprocessor that's on the hand. The signals are obviously really small, so it's just microvolts. Most people think that it's brain controlled. <laughs> And I guess to an extent it is, but it's, it, it's very simple. I have two sensors in my socket and I have one on one muscle on the inside and the other sensor is on the outside muscle. So you just, I would just flex my muscles and it would just make a certain movement. I think about like just making a fist and going like this, but even though I've never even had a sight right. hand. Having one of the most advanced pieces of technology in the world on my body is really insane to me because I could do so many cool things and everyone calls me like robo lady or bionic lady. It's useful, don't get me wrong, but it's cool looking too.